So I was looking on YouTube. There's only one other video showing uh, how to raise a, a Civic wagon. Um, it's this young static guy. He's a bit of a bitch. He talks shit once on my CRX, so uh, fuck that guy. And his disgusting fucking earlobes. If you gauge your ears and they fucking huge, and then you don't rock a gauge and it looks like a fucking onion ring, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's fucking disgusting. But that's not beside. That's besides the point. Anyways, so this is how to raise your Civic wagon, cause uh, fuck that guy's video. You're gonna need some spring clamps, cause uh, these are uh, three, three posts, and uh, Civics have two. If you guys know, if if you know that much. So we're gonna have to take those uh, top hats off and swap them out with the stock ones. Um, these are off a uh, '90s Accord. I think it's like a 90 to 93 Accord. So those are DA rear stretch uh, Acura Integra. You can look up which years are DA. Um, these cost me a hundred bucks for the set. Or these were 50 and those were 50 at another junkyard. So it was like a hundred bucks right here. And then uh, the springs uh, clamps were like 30. But I think most stores you can just rent them out. Because the goal is is to fit these. Uh, these are 215, 75, 15s. Some fat ass hand cooked tires, mud terrains. Right now they're rubbing everywhere, so uh, got to put those on. So stock height of the Civic wagon from the ground to the top of the uh, fender, 25 and a half. With the tires, it's 29 and a half. So what's that? Four inches right there, just with the uh, tires alone, lifted at four inches. Now I'm gonna take these struts out. Um, I'm sure you can find videos on how to take these out. It's nothing crazy. There's a couple bolts and it comes right out. So I'm going to take that out and then we'll sit it side by side with these ones and see the difference. So I used my little uh, spring compressors. As you can see, I had to cut them because they were like way too fat. They wouldn't fit in. I don't know if these are made for like trucks or some shit, but just like one on each side. Um, you tighten the bolt, brings the spring down. Nothing too crazy. Except for that was a waste of $30 because they didn't even really fit and I had to cut them up. But anyways, so uh, stock, strut, they went off the uh, Accord. I think it was like a 93 Accord, and it's only like an inch and uh, three eighths I measured. So, uh, yeah, I mean, was it worth it? I don't know. Inch and three eighths. I mean, I guess every inch counts, right? Ask your mama. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Inch and three eighths. Oh, I also got a, a package from FedEx. So let's, let's see. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's another package. Camera kits. They're just uh, some shitty eBay ones. Nothing too crazy. Because we are going to mess with the uh, the camber. Or camber, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah. I think it was like 70 bucks for these. You, uh, I guess you could rent them. I mean, it's only an inch and 3 eighths, so it's not like it's, it's that much. It's, I mean, it's going to affect the, the camber a little bit. Well, I guess especially with the tires, so uh, yeah, you're probably going to need camber kits. Camber kits in, uh, shocks, all that, struts, whatever you want to call it, all that's in. So the knuckle on the back of this spindle is like hella close to this, uh, to the shock of the spring. It's like, it's like sitting in between the spring. I would, uh, turn the wheel and show you, but I'm not going to do that because uh, I'm going to take the sawzall and cut this knuckle off the back. And then I'm going to adjust these, uh, camber kits. I'm just going to eyeball it. You can see I have like, I don't know, what's that, about a sixteenth. An eighth if I'm lucky um, I, I shouldn't have any well I don't know if it rubs I mean I guess it'll rub but it's not gonna do nothing crazy but uh, I was gonna adjust the uh, camera kits all the other all the way this way all the way I guess back but I loosened it and then the whole thing just like fucking slid this way so that's where it wants to be so I tightened it all up it's all the way maxed forward it uh, seems pretty straight I guess we'll find out when we put the bigger tires on there so it's 31 and a quarter with these tires, so it only added like a, a fucking inch and a half or something like that. Nothing too crazy. I, it's, it's still going to settle, so I might even lose that. So yeah. Was it worth it? Probably not. Now uh, tomorrow, I'm going to do the backs. I've still got to uh, cut this out and shit, but tomorrow I'll start on the back. Okay, so this is the stock Civic Wagon strut. This is the uh, DA strut. Um, probably same thing about an inch and a half maybe something like that so lower control arms this is the lower control arm for the driver's side you can see that this is where the strut mounts to this bolt right here it's lower than the other ones 
Now this is the uh, passenger side one. Same thing, but you can actually, uh, so it mounts like that. You can actually flip it upside down. So we're gonna take the, the passenger side one, flip it upside down, put it on the driver side, because everything lines up the same. See, driver side, passenger side upside down. Same shit, it just raises it up. So looking at like another two inches out the back with the uh, DA struts and uh, flipping the lower control arm upside down and swapping sides. So I'm gonna put this all back together. I'm gonna see what it looks like. You motherfucking piece of shit. I don't know if, if uh, the GoPro cut that, but I just fucking scratched myself on this fucking rust trying to explain this shit. So uh, factory, there, now you can see factory uh, camber kit, or uh, I don't know what the fuck you call it, factory camber kit maybe. And then this is the shitty eBay one. Now uh, these bushings tend to go out in these if you uh, if you add like negative a lot of negative we would or I would usually take these uh, two locking bolts off and then uh, tamer the fuck out of it with these things I'm still bleeding but the one issue I mean for 20 bucks it's not bad but the one issue is like sometimes these bolts these bolt holes don't line up and you can see this side's drilled out a lot more than this side so sometimes you have to drill these out but nothing too crazy. I'm going to extend this one uh, probably about half inch, quarter inch. I'll probably start with a quarter inch. I'll extend the aftermarket one a quarter inch. I'm just going to leave it all loose so when uh, we put the wheels back on, we can eyeball it and then go from there. So I figured out the easiest way to get these bigger struts in. Um, the first thing you want to do is uh, loosen these two 17s, one on this side, one on that side. Just loosen it. Was that about a, a quarter inch or so? And then you're going to want a uh, lower control arm, top bolt. I just got it started. It's not tight or anything like that. I just got it started all the way through. Then you hang the strut, two up top, just uh, hand tight, nothing crazy yet. Then uh, bottom one, then this one, because this whole thing, sorry, this whole thing will fucking move. So then you start this one, you got all these three. Then the camera kit is a bit of a pain. I just started the bolts up here so there's still gap behind the camera kit. So that's right there. And then you have to like, uh, push this and get that bolt in at the same time so uh i've got to tighten everything up and then i'll just go off eye like i don't know if you can see like adjusting the camber but i gotta tighten the top up because it's gonna pull it back in more so i'm gonna just eyeball this i'll get the tires and then i'll throw them back on and then uh, we'll see how close how close it is and then we'll just have to uh well we can probably just shove our arm through the back and then adjust it from underneath the car so yeah positive camber for the win boys must have put another half inch lift on it with all that positive camber but the good thing is i can just crawl underneath the car without having to jack it up and how many other civics do you know you can just crawl underneath and adjust the camber kit with your fucking hand huh how many other honda civics do you know you can just right underneath it and adjust the camber but yeah so i'm gonna adjust it then i gotta get out and look at it and uh jump up and down on the back of the car and get the suspension to settle a little more and then uh, just eyeball it. So I got out and looked at it. It still needs to be adjusted a little more. And then I, I realized I can just, I can just shove my fucking arm back here and turn it. It's pretty close, right? I mean, I guess I can get like one of those uh, cell phone apps that you can like hang pictures with and maybe I can just like shove it on there and see. But that'll be another day. This is close enough for me. I'm cool with that. I've got to do the front now and uh, just all that shit, but... I appreciate you watching my video. Um, is it worth it? I don't know. I mean, you can buy like a, you guys know how uh, when you buy wheel adapters or wheel spacers like that, you can buy those for these. Uh, I know a company makes them. I'm not sure who makes them, but I, uh, a couple of people on Instagram, I know they have them. And one guy was even, was even trying to sell me some. He had like uh, inch and a inch and three quarter, uh, they're like aluminum blocks that you can uh, lower your struts and just put them right in. I'm not sure what those cost. I mean, if you do the research, but this is cost me. This cost me about a hundred bucks for all four struts. So if you can get those uh, spacers for that, I'd say do that because uh, it's a bit of a pain doing all this. And if you got those spacers, you can just drop this down and then slide them in and bolt it up and then put it back in and be a lot easier. So uh, yeah, do your research. Junkyard ones, uh, it's okay. It's not bad. I mean, you can see I have a. Uh, fucking six inch gap back here five inch gap so uh, yeah i mean it's all right but 
blocks would probably be a little easier. So uh, yeah, do your research. This is the junkyard way. I appreciate you guys watching my uh, shitty little junkyard video. Remember, Young Statics video sucks dick, and so does that guy. So fuck that cunt. Peace, pimps.